Have a good day, my friend. Good morning, guys, from another beautiful day here in Chennai, the south of India, where we're going to kick off a day of eating because apparently I was unaware that this place is regarded as second only to Delhi in terms of the amazing street food. Now, hello, sir. Hello. As he will no doubt tell you, the south has a reputation for being not only a lot warmer in terms of the weather, but also in terms of the people. And the food is therefore very, very different, as we found out the other day at Sangeeta's Pure Veg. So, with a raging appetite, I thought that I would come and check out a spot for breakfast. This being the famous Ratna Cafe, which comes highly recommended. So, let's get things underway. Start the day off with a full stomach, get some energy, see what we can find in here. Hello, sir. This is the iconic Chennai or South Indian breakfast. Sambar, so-called Italy Sambar. That's what I'm coming for. Hello, dear. Can I take a seat? I sit. Okay. Stay here. I will have the classic Italy Sambar and nice coffee. With your recommendation, yeah. Okay, let's see if we can take a quick look in the kitchen. Hello, gentlemen. This is the kitchen. This is where all the hard work is taking place. Let me see if we can just come in a little further. The guys seem cool with it, which is great. Aha. Hey, brother. You're a top chef. This is the Idli Sambar. This is the, uh, yeah? Idli. Okay. So the Sambar component we've seen out there, it looks like the, uh, Charlie, it's basically the water that uh, dips in it. But this is what's stuck in. Okay. I must leave, apparently. Okay. Sorry, sir. Let's go back and take a seat. And, uh, oh, okay, somebody's uh, now in it, so maybe we'll go somewhere else. Oh, amazing. I love it. I love how he just drowns it in all of that sauce. And we have, hello, sir. We have uh, the chat pop Zimmy who's just joined me. And look at that. Okay, the pressure is on. I love the eye contact. All right. Oh, okay. It is good. I like how he's giving me the eye contact and then the moment I turn around, he looks at the camera. <laughs> and then he looks away, God. It's juicy, it certainly isn't dry. And I tell you what, there is a proper chili heat in that sauce, I like it. Are you ordering the same, sir? You're having the same? Also this for you? Aha, it's good. Mm. True Indian flavors for sure at breakfast time. So I'm gonna enjoy the rest of this see whether we can find ourselves our coffee as well to round off the breakfast. So far, so good. Just 116, so barely a dollar, I think. So there we go. Thank you, my dear. Thank you very much. I want to take a little walk now through this neighborhood to see where I might find something for Elevenses. A little snackette between breakfast and lunch. I haven't decided what's for lunch yet. We'll take a look around here and see if anything stands out. All right, guys, as usual, the roads are busy. The moment you step out of wherever you're staying, you're between cow shit, bins, and an endless stream of motor vehicles, but nonetheless, According to maps, I've just seen that there's a really highly regarded place just on the corner from where we were. Basha Halwala. I think I mispronounced that actually. I think it is more Basha Halwala. There's another W. I don't know, but it says no branches. Hey guys. Basha Halwala over here. Okay, yes, my pronunciation is perfect. Let's take a look down here, see if we can find it. Surprisingly, this part of town has a completely different feel. Bloody hell, I've walked into chaos. Ah, what are you selling? You're selling sugar cane. Ah, yes. Sugar cane juice. It's good? I think I, think I should have one. What is your name, sir? My name is Raja. Raja, nice, nice to meet you. James, from England, sir. Which country, England? England. Nice to meet you, brother. Raja for India. What a machine. I would hate to get my fingers trapped in there. <laughs> Amputation, oh no. <laughs> Anyways, look, that's, wow, it's so much thinner now. Five times through the press. 
Wow, and I'm just checking, he has all of his fingers, so... <laughs> He's, uh, he's been doing this a long time and still got all of his fingers intact. There's last for the lime. Ah, and then the last time? Ah, it goes through the lime. There we go. The juice coming out there. Thank you, sir. Thank that looks you. amazing. And thank you, my friend. What is your name? Abdul Aziz. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Oh, man. That is so good, brother. 20? No, nothing? Brother, thank you so much. That's amazing. Wow, that is so kind. Thank you, brother. Cheers. Wow. You're a kind man. Thank you very much. All right. You need to come to this stall to see, I think it was Abdul Aziz, opposite the Tamil Nadu Mutton and Chicken Center is where you find the best sugar cane not only in Chennai, the best sugar cane in Tamil Nadu. Thank you, brother. In all my exuberance, I've forgotten what I was coming here for. I was here for the sweet center. Where is it? Is it around here? Where is Basra Halwala? Let's see. Let's ask these gentlemen if they know. I will just keep my head on a swivel. Hey, lads, you're from Chennai? Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah? it's my first time in the south. Oh. I've been in the north, but the south Mm. has better food, oh. better weather, and better people, it seems. So friendly, so warm. England. England. Yeah. And, and this is, uh, it's not lassi. Sugar coffee. Sugar coffee. Ah, sugar coffee. But it's like, it's a strange color. I haven't seen this for coffee. <laughs> yeah. That it's was some good test. Ah, lots of cream. <laughs> ah, that's why. It is India. You like your cream and sugar. It looks interesting. That, brother, is not coffee in the rest of the world. That is a that's a milkshake. <laughs> Anyways, do you? I want I want I want to try the Indian sweets at uh, is it uh, Basha Alwalal? Basha Alwalal. I'm actually getting a ride there. How good is this? <laughs> We're traveling in style to the sweet center. This is the first time that I've been on a scooter in India. Jeez. <laughs> Woo! Is that the first time? Yes, first time without a helmet. Oh my Don't god. The ultimate triple threat. Jesus Christ. Sorry. <laughs> oh, he's here. Oh, mashallah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Okay, peace be with you, brother. Bye bye. All right. Here we are. Hello, sir. Assalamu alaikum, sir. May I come in? It's entrance. Thank you. Hello, sir. Oh, amazing. Okay, so we are very much in uh, in a Muslim shop. This is great. We are definitely in this area. I love being in this part of town. Salam alaikum, sir. How are you? Good, good, good. Hello, sir. Tea? Tea? Yes. Yes, please. I would love to try tea. Hello, sir. How are you? Nice to meet you. I uh, I hear that you have some of the best sweets in town. I would love to try a little selection and let people know just how good they are. Oh, amazing. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, brother. Okay, so look at the greeting that I've got here. What is your name? Manoj. Manoj. James, nice to meet you. Okay, so we're gonna get some things to try. Oh, amazing. Thank you. What is the name of this one? Tamkaru. Tamkaru. Yeah. Okay. It's a little bit caramelized on the top. Mm. That is delicious. Let me try a little of my uh, of my chai. Let me just grab it here. So when it's so sweet. Mm. Oh, that is perfect. That is perfect. Hello, sir. Assalamu alaikum. Little bit of egg. Egg. Egg sweet. Okay. So the, thank you for, uh, for holding. The texture is a little firmer than that one. Mmm. Okay. And you can really taste the eggs. That was sweeter and had the caramelized edges. That, uh, this one, the egg one, isn't quite as sweet. But it has a nice flavor, a different kind of flavor. Mmm. Because it has a dairy. That's good. And we've got a very interesting looking one on the end now. It looks like carrots. Yeah, carrot and carrot noodle. Okay. Oh. And cardamom on the end? Badam, badam. Okay, I will have to go one by one. So this one, I didn't quite uh, hear what he said, but it looks like carrots. As you can see, it's bright orange. And it comes in like a, yeah, like a sweet potato mash. Mm. Okay. 
usually what I've found when I've tried these kind of desserts in England, so not authentic here, I found them all to taste very similar. So them all to just basically taste of sweet of sugar and nothing else. But here, the egg had an interesting flavor. This one was just super sweet as it should be. But they all are subtly different. Mm. And I like the seeds at the bottom top as well. Really good. I've got all of these to try. Let's go in order. This one is super sticky as a paste. The name of this one again? Okay. Oh. Oh. That can't be good for you. <laughs> it's good for the soul. It tastes so good. There must be loads of, I don't know, is there a bit of cream in there and sugar? Definitely loads of sugar, but a bit of cream. Wow. That's just so, so dense and sticky in a nice way. If this is the first sweet thing that you had in the day and you were craving it, this would hit the spot. And nothing else. Pistachio nuts? I don't know. It isn't, uh, it isn't nut based as I thought it was pistachio. Let's try this. Ooh. Yeah. That's really good. That has a unique flavor. That for me, that came from there, that is the one. That was my favorite. Thank you so much for letting me try. Thank you, sir. How much do I owe you, please? Compliments. Please let me pay you. Compliments. Okay, you must come to Basha Alwalal. Right? Here in Chennai. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you all for your kindness. Muslim people are the friendliest and most hospitable that I've met in every single country I've visited. Indonesia, Turkey, wherever it may be, all around the world. Thank you so much. Very kind, very kind. Peace be upon you. See you guys. Okay. Yes, sir. Let me, let me give something in return. I will see if I have a, a small bill. Okay, sir, for you. All right. We have made it following a couple of hours respite to get a little bit of work done. We have made it to continue our tour of Chennai's best food. And I indeed now find myself, hello brother. All good? I now find myself in Old Madras, the old town, the old part of the city, which apparently has a reputation for being the spot to hunt down local favorites. As you can see, we're right by the temple, one of the many temples that unfortunately I'm not appropriately dressed to visit. But let's take a look and see what we can find for ourselves. Ah, there he goes. On the street down here. Ah, dragon beard? Yeah, yes, yes. Dragon beard candy. Yeah, yes. candy, candy, candy. I saw this in Vietnam, no, in Malaysia. At the weekend, I had dragon beard candy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, for the first time, it's good. I like it. But I just had some like two days ago. Okay, sir. Dragon beard candy. Yeah, you it's take good, 20 rupees. 20 rupees for one piece. Only 20 rupees. Oh, wow, that's a lot more expensive than the man in uh, Malaysia was charging for a box of six, brother. <laughs> you take one I will try one. The Chennai version of the Chennai dragon beard, or we call it something else? Candy sweets. Oh, both are delicious. Ah, yes, both are delicious. Delicious. It is just like cotton candy. Not eat, just taste. Don't eat, just taste. Oh, super. It's tempting. It is tempting now. Mm. Okay, it is really good. If you come to Mint Street and you haven't had the Dragon Beard candy before, which I had in Malaysia, this is similar to Candy Foss. Come and see this good man. And come and get yourself some of the nice Candy Foss. It's only 20 rupees for a bag, but I have so much to eat, as you know, on the savory. I don't need to fill up on sweets now, but thank you, brother. It's been a, a sweet affair so far. But I've got to keep my, uh, my eyes on a swivel around here. This is a very busy part of town. 
mobile phone is going down the uh, going down the front of the boxes. Just so I'm not pickpocketed potentially on the way past. That's what she said. Oh, okay. What do we have here? Arudiki. Arudiki. I don't think I know this. Or oh, alu tiki. Alu tiki. Sorry, my ear, not your, not your. First. Alu tiki. I think I should try some alu tiki. Is this everybody waiting to order? Are they waiting to buy? Ah, oh, for pani puri. Can I buy one alu tiki? Do I need to queue up everybody? Ah, oh, the queue is so big. Super. Okay. Thank you, my dear. Yes, really spicy. <laughs> All right, let's get a token for our alu tiki. One ten. Okay. Thank you, sir. Do I need token or no token? Token. Ah, okay. The seats. Very good, sir. Wow. Thank you so much. Look at that. That is what alu tiki is. I didn't expect it to be so so loaded. Loaded with so many toppings. You can see there's like some curd or cheese on top. There's a load of perhaps yogurt or again similar curd. It looks yeah, it looks very, very milky and creamy on top. And then some perhaps crunchy bits there. I wonder what the best way of trying to eat this is. It's been served on a plate. I don't know if we can uh, necessarily is there upstairs? Can we go inside? I don't know. We're gonna have to Rest this on a box. This is where the uh, the roadside review is going to come in. And what could be better than vlogging between motorbikes and hot oil here in India, where health and safety is not necessarily paramount? Let's take a look at this. Okay, so it looks really crispy because it's been in that very, very hot oil, which is just centimeters away from my face. You've got toppings. It looks like some kind of almost like Bombay mix to me, but crispy toppings on top. Jalebi will be too sweet. It's too sweet. Mm. Did you eat? I know it. Yeah, I had it in Delhi. You just have this. I had it in Delhi. Very sweet. Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy, my dear. Thank you. All right. Thank you, dear. Okay. We got a bit more of this going on. So, various toppings in addition to the crispy bits. We got maybe is it some cabbage. You got uh, red onion as well. Mmm. Very good, brother. Yeah, that is good. It's my first time. Mm. My first experience of alu tiki here in Chennai on Mint Street. Delicious. All right. Let's continue our quest through the streets. Mint Street specifically. Up old Madras. Let's see what else we can find. I wonder if we'll find any meat. Because after all, we've had a lot of veg. Pure veg, in fact, so far today. And I wouldn't mind a bit of meat. So let's see if we can find a kebab or something like that. In and amongst. Thank you, guys. Very good. Thank you. All right. Oh, what is this? It's it's lassi? Yeah. Oh, it looks like uh, yellow, different color to it's what I'm used to. Saffron lassi. Oh, saffron. Yeah, yeah. Wow, beautiful. Can I try some? Yeah. Yeah? How much is it? This half glass is 90, full glass is 180. Okay, yeah, let's try half glass, please. Yeah, yeah. So this is all chilled here with the ice and things. So you're keeping it nice and cold in here. Wow, wow, it feels so nice on a hot day. Oh, thank you. This is for me? Yeah. Wow, look at that. It comes in a metal glass. It feels so cold. You can see it beading where I've been holding it. No, this is your shop, sir. What is your name? My name is Dinesh Soni. Dinesh Soni. Nice yeah. to meet you, James. Yeah, you. This is my first time having a flavored lassi. Yeah, right. And saffron is very, uh, very uh, expensive. Mm. Oh, that is so good. That is amazing. Look at that. And to have it served in something metal to keep it cool is so much more pleasant than getting it out of plastic or something like that. Oh, wow. You're doing weightlifting. 
<laughs> Look at this. He's just going to pour it straight in there. Oh, look at that. Look at that. He must be keeping you strong. <laughs> it's very good for strength. Ah, oh, so just giving it a little stir around. Nice, look how silky it is. Delicious. How do you blend lassi? It's with milk and then saffron. Do you need to strain it? Like, I don't know. It's just so smooth. It's so good. Mm. There you go. Look, unlike sometimes when you get lassi, it might have, uh, it might have uh, a bit of uh, curd or something like that on there. Mm. This is just super smooth. Not too sweet, but it certainly has a nice flavor to it. That's really nice accompaniment following the, uh, the crispy and spicy that I just had there, the alu tiki. Mm. Mm. Oh, and it's got some bits actually at the bottom. I like it. A little bit of curd. Mm. What is that on the edge? It's curd? Pal palgova. Milk. Milk curd. Okay. So that's what gives it a little bit of texture. It's super smooth and silky, as you can see. But it's just adding that at the end on top. And this is how locals like it, I think. I certainly like it. Mm. Delicious, so refreshing. Thank you, sir. Very delicious. And the name of your store? Anmol. Oh, you are in the Indian Express. Oh, wow. Check this out. Sorry, sir. Can I see? Look at this. I didn't realize that I've just met the most famous Lassie man in all of Chennai. Great to meet you, sir. Nice to meet you. What a legend. Here he is on the wall amazing continue, continue. how many years ago was this 2012 yeah. oh wow so you've been here for more than 10 years well, no 37 years really. 37 years wow what a great find what a great find if you want lassie come to chennai it's worth it mm. oh so yummy thank you sir all right I'll finish this and we'll continue our wander over there yonder. Ah, we are faced with the usual situation. That's a tight one. That's a tight one. It's somewhere just on this corner. We're looking for Maya Chats, apparently. And no! It's not one of those dodgy websites that drunk men log on to at 3 in the morning. Maya Chats. Where is it? Where is it? Okay. Hello, brother. Hello. I see plenty of Honda scooters. Hey, boys. How are you? Good. Do you know Maya Maya Chats? Maya Maya Chats is down here. You show me. Yeah. Okay, down here. Thank you. All right, boys. Nice to meet you. All right. I don't know what they said. Were they being naughty? Okay, I'm going. I'm going. Oh no, he's gonna kill me. Oh no, Adi ya. Okay, let's go. Hello, sir. All right, sorry guys. Oh wow, is the dog dead or is he asleep? I hope he's only asleep. Hello, guys. You do good uh, samosa, kachori, that kind of thing, pani puri. You do good stuff for me to try. Okay, this side. All right, let's come around here. This is the way in. Wow, it's so noisy. It's definitely India. Hey guys, what are you making? Welcome sir, this is kachori. kachori sir. This is kachori. Ah, I had dal kachori in my first day in Delhi a long time ago. Let's try dal kachori. Yes. One please. How much is it? We have this special kachori, 30 rupees masala kachori with onion and uh, oh. potato stuff. Yes, please. Yeah, masala kachori. So with onions and with, did you say potatoes? Potatoes. Yeah. With onions and potatoes. Oh, straight up like that. Yes. How incredible. So it's come from the fryer here, where you've got, I don't know, it must have about 20 on the go at the same time. You're multitasking, sir. Very, very busy. So it's come out of the hot oil there where it's being fried. So they get really nice oh, and crispy. Oh, you can see how it's oh, up. 
Obviously, it's a busy spot, so I'm kind of holding everybody up. You've got the different sauces and things here, but they've obviously already added it. Uh, so it's a little top up if you need it. So you can see here, it's a really crispy outer pastry, which has come from the fryer. Mm. Super crispy. And it's still quite hot. On the inside, that's where you have the filling. So I think it is like... <coughs> Oh, a bit chilly. I think it's just like uh, potato, onion, that kind of thing. Mmm. Very good. Very good, brother. Bota cha. Mm. Bota cha. <laughs> I know it's sort, of, sort of Hindi. Only a little Hindi, but no Tamil. <laughs> it's the same thing. Good. You are also having this? Yes. Yeah? Regularly, I'm taking it. It's good here? Good you food. take parcel? Oh, you take parcel? Parcel? Yeah, nice. Okay. So that's something that I'm getting used to also in India. It's the uh, sort of take home or parcel culture. That I didn't know what the word was here when I was traveling in the north before. So I was always eating the streets. Enjoy your, uh, enjoy your parcel, sir. All right. Let's, uh, let's have the first proper bite. Mm. Oh, yeah. That is so good. The coriander sauce on top is really fragrant, as you can see. You get some more sauce. Thank you, brother. Super crispy. I would say that the texture and the pastry is just right. It's not too thin and flimsy. It's still crispy. It's got substance to it, shall I? I have a, a free jalebi or two. Mm. Oh. I've had this a couple of times before, but yours, I think, is the best. That is so crispy. My mouth is full. But if you've had something spicy, it's really nice to cool it down. There we go. Thank you, brother. What? It's from Asi. Oh my goodness, again! Really? That's so kind. Thank you so much, brother. I appreciate it. Thank you, guys. That was absolutely delicious. The only reason I'm leaving a little is because I've got an awful lot more to try around here. And the food is absolutely incredible everywhere that I go. So I don't want to miss out on anything ahead of this. Thank you so much, guys. That's so kind. Thank you. Thank you, sir. People are so generous around here. I haven't experienced anything like this. On the occasion, on occasion, one or two things, you know, people have said, don't worry, it's on the house. But people have consistently said this today. Yeah, incredible. Anyways, I think now we should begin working our way towards the shore, towards the beach, and see whether we can get some meat on the way, because that's the only thing that I think has been lacking so far. So I've heard that there's a decent kebab place in town. That with no offense to Hindus, so I'm not Hindu. So it's really good beef seat kebabs. So that is what I want to ideally track down on the way to the beach, where then we can see the sunset, maybe have a coconut or an ice cream or something like that. To round off what has been so far an incredible day eating all of Chennai. All right, let's go. All right, guys, we've been uh, looking around here a while, but it looks as though it's just at the end. I think, ah, there it is. The kebab center. This must be it. I can smell it all the way from here. That has an incredible smell of barbecue coming off here. Ooh, sea kebab. Oh, yes. Hello, sir. Hi. You do sea kebab? Amazing. Look at this. These are beef? Yeah. Beef seat kebab. This is something that you don't find everywhere in India. I have missed beef so much. So I'm guessing that these guys must be Muslim, right? Yeah, yeah not Hindu here. Yeah. Not eating beef. Oh, <laughs> eating beef. Okay. Oh, wow. So they come in this? Yeah. Okay. Could I have one seat roll? How much is one? It's 80? Okay, very good. I will have one, please. Wow, look at this. They're coming straight off the uh, off the spit where they're being cooked there. You also have chicken. Yeah. chicken. Oh, wow. oh, look at that. 
fresh out of the Tandoori oven. He's got all of them racked up. What is your name? Anis. Anis. Here's the chicken master. Wow. That's amazing. And you have green ones as well. Chicken al farm. Chicken Uh huh. Chicken barbecue. Barbecue chicken with green. Green. Is it coriander? Ah, cilantro. Very nice. Wow, it smells and looks absolutely incredible. So this is the, the mixture for the beef. So you can see it's got some maybe little bits of fat in and amongst to keep it succulent on the spit. And then that's where the amazing smell and all the flavor is coming from as it begins to drip onto the coals. That smells so good. That has got to be the best barbecue smell of anywhere yet on my travels through India. And what a treat to be able to have beef as well. Brother? Is this one ready? Yeah? Okay. Oh, thank you. Amazing. Thank you so much. Let me try this. It has a little chili inside. Yeah. Okay. So, we have the. Remind me, Ramal Rumali Roti. Rumali Roti. So, we have the sea kebab inside of the roti. Mm mm mm. It smells amazing. Mmm. Oh man! Very nice. Bota cha. Ah, bota cha. Oh. <laughs> that is top. Mmm. Ah, that is absolutely delicious. Oh, and spicy in a nice way. Oh. At the back of the throat, not on the tongue. At the back. Really nice heat. It's a creeper. Oh man, that has got to be the best seat kebab I've eaten anywhere. And this is one of my favorites. This is my go to order, certainly in terms of starters when I'm back at home and we go to sort of Pakistani or Indian restaurants for North Indian food. Of course, we're in the south now. I usually have lamb, I haven't had beef before. Mm. The bread, the roti is so soft. It's absolutely delicious and it has a little bit of chewiness to it in a pleasant way. So satisfying. And then the beef on the inside, you can see how it's dripping there onto the flame. All of that fat equals flavor, as I believe Gordon Ramsay used to say. <laughs> very good, very, very good. Oh, mm. That is the best food I've eaten in India. It is so good to have meat again. And especially beef, I've missed it. That is super, guys. How many years have you been making this here? 24, 25 years. 35? 25. 25 years. Wow. This is a good spot. Yeah. Wow. So the name? Was it a kebab house? Kebab center. Fast food. Absolutely delicious. The best seat kebab in all of India. Prove me wrong. <laughs> and the best Indian soundtrack to accompany it. Mm. Thank you. All right. Once again, guys. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Peace be with you. Once again, the guys here wouldn't let me pay. This is a constant theme. I'm absolutely blown away. I'm not flashing the channel or saying I've got a million subs or anything like that. There's no mention of it. This genuinely has been consistently the case with pretty much all Muslim establishments that I've met. Such kindness and hospitality, it blows me away. Anyways, thank you guys. Peace be upon you, enjoy your beef. All right, see you later. All right, let's now head down towards the beach. See you brother. You make excellent food, keep it up. <laughs> Even if it's a bit smoky in your eyes, it's worth it. Thank you brother. All right, let's go. All right guys, so as you can see, it's rush hour here and I'm desperately trying to make it down to the beach before the sun sets and it's probably going to take me about 30 or 40 minutes so time is really against us. But I've got one tip for you when using Uber, which given the distance I wanted to use rather than a rickshaw and all the pollution, what you will very often find is that drivers will take ages to pick up the fare and when they do, they'll begin frantically calling you. And it's not for your benefit to say, I'm on my way, sir. Like I found many Grab drivers, particularly in Indonesia, to do. They're very courteous there. But here in India, what they're trying to do, of course, being the city or the land of laziness and scammers, what they're trying to do is determine 
whether you are a cash or an online customer. So, if you say online, they will say okay and say nothing else and they'll immediately cancel on you. So they stand you up having waited nearly 20 minutes. Now this has happened to me twice in the last couple of days and it's happened again here. And this guy can't even type or spell cash. Yeah, he still wants that cash. Of course he does, rather than online. So what did I do? Your trip cash or online trip? All I had to put was cash. Okay, wait, I'm coming. Of course he is. Anyways, that's a little rant over. Another thing to know about the reality of India. All oh, right, we have made it to the beach, but for the fact that the sun sets on the opposite side, with this being the east and the Bay of Bengal, the sun sets over there and not on this beach side. So, unfortunately, owing to the fact that the two Uber drivers earlier cancelled on me, that's probably been the difference between making it now and making it when there's still a little bit of a sunset which is a little bit clearer on that side. Anyways, all is not lost. We've got a few street sellers around where maybe we can round off the day with an ice cream or a coconut, something like that. And a stroll on the beach. Just not too far because I don't want to mess up the good work of that honest shoe cleaner the other day. Hello, sir. So let's take a look at what's around. I can see the, uh, it looks like the, is it potato tornadoes that I've seen in other countries? Potato tornado? I think I recognize these. I'm looking for something sweet. So maybe I go this way. Thanks dear. I've eaten uh, enough savory food, I think. Certainly with that kebab. Oh, what do they have there? Between the horses. No, I'm okay, brother. I'm okay, thank you. Ah. Seven million. Let's just shout numbers out randomly at people. Okay. So this again looks to be more savoury stuff here. Potatoes, onions, things like that, water. Okay. Let's, uh, let's venture a little bit further down here towards the lights, but I don't think I'll be going uh, very far beyond that because obviously it's getting dark. And whilst it looks friendly enough, you never know quite who is around. You've got the camera. Hello, dear. Maybe she is an honest rifle owner. Oh, the London Waffle Co. Oh, wow. It's like a home from home. Home from home. What about a nice coconut? I'm on the beach. I'm in the south. I came for a coconut. Let's have a bubble bath. Can I do the Okay. There's. Mr. Bubble, this isn't as uh, it isn't as busy as I expected. Of course, we're here maybe a little bit late for the beach, later than I'd hoped. But I'm sorry, guys, we didn't make it quite in time. It seems to be similar to what we saw on Marina Beach. But oh, this looks good. Maybe we can get something here. Hello, dear. Hello. Is this your shop or your guest? Okay. Ah, hello. This is Turkish coffee. Oh, how much is one, please? Thirty rupees. Oh, okay. So lots of different flavors. I can have chocolate or hot chocolate, but different coffee. Strawberry coffee. Wow. I've never had that before. Oh, or Nutella coffee. I think one Nutella coffee, please, sir. Okay, so in the mud pot there goes the Nutella, the milk, ooh, and chocolate sauce. This has got to rival the famous Kulad coffee. Have you heard of Kulad coffee at Kumbal Garfot? It's very good, sir. You should check it out. There we go. So he's giving it a whisk, whizzing it up, whizzing it up. It smells really good as well, chocolatey. Let's. Uh, what is the next step? He's washing his hands. Oh, that's the pot. What is the name of this pot? Mud pot. Mud pot. Yeah. yeah, it looks like plant pot. Oh, 
this is how you heat it? Ah, wow, okay. So that's how he heats it. This is the Turkish style. Yes. Right. So this is the reason for the name. So it's in like a hot, a pit of hot sand. That's how it's been cooked. And then he's pouring it out there, right up to the brim. Delicious. Wow. Oh yes, and then the cocoa powder. This is like the bougie. Oh yes, cool air coffee. And then is this white chocolate? Yes. Oh my goodness, that looks so good. It's real sprinkles, you can see it's going from a proper block. Oh my goodness. Nutella. And then a topping of Nutella as well. That is absolutely incredible. Oh man. <laughs> oh, there's more. Hundreds of thousands as well, sprinkles. Oh. Wow. If you're into chocolate or Nutella in general, this is the thing. It is so hot though. That technique is like a fire pit, a boiling hot sand pit. If you think sometimes that when you step onto the beach without your flip flops on, that sounded so British, and you go, oh man, burning sand. That is essentially what's happening there, but probably tenfold. And the terracotta pot keeps it really warm, the mud pot, and hence the name. The Turkish mud coffee. Mm -mm -mm. Let's have another go now. I really want this to cool down. Mm. Mm. Oh man. I am so glad that I came to the beach, even though it was dark. There I was, nearly going to give up, uh, about to give up. Oh. But the Turkish mud coffee has made it all worthwhile. What a treat. My favorite dessert find in India. Mm, certainly a favorite drink. Mm. All right, guys. Well, what a day it's been. Exploring the amazing food scene here in Chennai. It's been awesome. Hey, guys. Absolutely incredible. I'd highly recommend it. It's got to have been right up there with Delhi. But I've got to say, my first impressions of the food here in the south might actually edge it, certainly in terms of hygiene. I felt really comfortable here trying the st uh, local street food and eating in the local eateries as well that in other parts of the country I'd have preferred to have avoided. So if you are maybe a little bit more of a cautious traveller or somebody with more delicate stomach, I would say that in the south, certainly if you go to the places that I've checked out today, fingers crossed, you should have no problems whatsoever. Anyways, I believe that my Uber driver awaits. Okay, and it's time to make our way back to Central. Brother, <laughs> we meet again. Excellent. All right, let's go. <laughs> hey, brother. No online. All right. I am giving payment. To the elements, hostel. All right. <laughs> See you all in the next video.